Hi, I hope everyone is having a fantastic spring break. So I'm super excited to see all of you soon, um, virtually, I guess. So I thought it was really cute. I'll share a little story with you. Um, one of Jacob's buddies, his mom got on a group text the other day, yesterday as a matter of fact, and she arranged a virtual play date with Jacob and a, a couple of his friends. So I thought it was a really neat way to connect. So I'm really excited to connect with each of you um, super soon. And I thought about waiting until after spring break because I didn't want anyone to feel like their spring break was cut a little bit short. Um, the fourth grade teachers, it was really awesome, uh, Mrs. Anderson, she messaged all of us this morning and we all hopped on a call. We ended up talking for like two hours this morning, so I think it's safe to say that we all miss each other and we're ready to get back to work and see all of you guys, even if it is through a screen. Um, we're really excited to hear what you guys have been up to over break and just kind of how you've been, so we've missed you. Um, so. I didn't want to feel, you know, like cutting spring break short, but as a mom, I was sitting there getting ready this morning and I was so excited as a teacher when I got off the phone with the fourth grade teachers that I was like, oh my gosh, I've got all these ideas for like creative lesson plans and fun things that the kids can do. Um, so then I started getting ready and I started thinking about, well, I wonder what Jacob and Riley are going to have to do um, at Cranbrook. So I was like, oh, Riley's going to be fine. She does a lot of her work online anyway at the upper school. Um, and then I kind of had a panic attack. I was like, oh my gosh, wait, is Jacob, he doesn't have his own computer yet. And what are his assignments going to be? And then, oh my gosh, what if he doesn't understand something? And what if I'm busy? What if I'm like with you guys doing my own teaching? And then, then I kind of felt like I got a little bit selfish. I was like, oh, what if Jacob needs my computer and I'm on my computer? And then I was like, well, he can't have it. Like I need my computer for work. And then I was like, oh my gosh, if I'm having all of these thoughts, um, I bet my students' parents are probably having them, your, your moms and your dads. And uh, I bet you guys are probably having some of the same concerns. Like, wait, I don't have a computer. What do I do? Or my, I have a computer but I'm only allowed to be on it a certain amount of time during the day or you know my mom and dad are working from home and they need the computer too so I started thinking through all these questions about how I'm gonna deal with it and then I was like well wait what can I expect for, from you guys for you to do so first and foremost I, I was you know thinking oh gosh is Jacob gonna have a lot of schoolwork to do and I want him to have a lot I want him to be engaged and doing all the same stuff that he would be doing in the classroom um, because Cranbrook is a really special school and you guys know that so I, I don't want him to not have to do any work um, because that's a lot of school that he would be missing so I started thinking about it but then at the same time I was like wait I really don't want him to be overwhelmed with work because what if I have to help him and I've got all my own stuff to do like there's just so many hours in the day right so I thought you guys might have some of the same questions so there was four big questions as I was getting ready um, and I, I want to just quickly address each one of them because before we go in the weekend um, I want you guys to, first of all, relax and have fun this weekend and enjoy. It's your last weekend of spring break. So whether it's snuggling with a pet or watching a movie with your family or we love Yahtzee, playing Yahtzee together, um, or reading a good book. I just started a new one on Audible and I'm so excited about it. I've got like three of my girlfriends reading it and we're kind of sharing ideas via text going back and forth. So the big four questions that I thought you might have, um, and I wrote them down on my computer, um, is there gonna be a lot of work? Um, will I need a device? Uh, what if I have questions and I don't understand something and do I have to do it? So I want to just quickly address each one of those and then of course if you have questions um, You know what we'll answer those on Tuesday But for now the most important thing is for you to enjoy the last weekend of your spring break and just to have fun with your family And I know that you might not be at the beach or at Disney World or wherever it was that you were planning on going Or even just hanging out with your friends at your house um, Things have definitely changed a little bit But I think it's super important for you guys to just relax take a deep breath go on a, a walk Maybe with your mom, you know, maybe just enjoy a special dessert with dad or whatever it is that you want to do just really enjoy the family time for the last weekend of spring break so I think that that's most important um, the second most important message that I think that is really important is school's fun like I know all 16 of you love coming to school you love seeing your friends and I want this experience to be as fun as possible so I don't want you to stress I don't want you to think that there's gonna be a whole lot of work um, we do a lot of work every day in the classroom and you guys know that but it's fun work and so many times at the end of the day you're like oh my gosh it's time to pack up already like where did our day go right so the work that you're gonna do now is just gonna be the same kind of things that you've been doing in school all along um, of course it's not gonna be eight hours long 
long because we're not taking breaks to kind of change classes. And I mean, it takes us a while to walk from our classroom to science. <laughs> so there's not gonna be those transition times and you know, you're gonna eat lunch whenever you want. So we're not gonna have that time built in. So you're not gonna have, you know, eight hours of school per se, but you are still gonna have kind of the regular assignments that you've had. Um, and if you need more time because of any certain reason, we've always said, you know, don't stress. If you need more time, just let me know and we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get there. So is there gonna be a lot of work to do? You know, not no more than what there usually is. So don't stress. And the work is always fun. Um, and then some of you might say, well, what if I get done with all of my work and I want something else to do? You know, in the classroom, how we always have our must do's and then our can do's. So if you finish the must do's, like just the regular content that we're doing, um, there's always so many fun things that you can do. And your teachers will list some things, um, you know, like you guys love logic dots and all sorts of challenging activities like that. We're still gonna do those. So if you finish your, your work, if there's something that you want to do that's super fun, we'll have suggestions for you too. Um, will you need a device? Uh, you you will, because that's how we're gonna kind of post things on Cram Nuts to make it really easy for you um, so that you'll know what the assignments are. We'll kind of give you a week at a glance so you can know what's to come so that you know, you're not worried about what the week is gonna encompass. So you'll, you'll kind of have an idea ahead of time. All of your assignments are gonna be posted um, the day before by 4 p.m. So you'll know, oh my gosh, what time is it gonna start tomorrow? And you do get to sleep in. Um, it's not gonna start you know, exactly at like eight o'clock. Um, you'll just have your assignments posted the day before by four o'clock, and then you can kind of work through them at your own pace, whatever works for your family schedule. Um, we will have like live classroom hours to where we can interact virtually through an app called Zoom, which you can use on pretty much any device and it's free, which is awesome. Um, like I said, Jacob had his play date with his friends yesterday on Zoom, which is really cute. So um, other things that you might need a device for, like Read Theory, Think Central, Prodigy, things like that that we've always done. So I don't want anyone to stress. Um, you know, if there's reading responses and it takes you a long time to kind of type things out, I don't want you to say, Mom, I, I need to type this out and it has to be a couple paragraphs or a paragraph long. And, and then parents are thinking, oh my gosh, you know, it takes them forever to type and I really need my computer right now. If there's ever a time that you need to do like a response or something that, um, requires writing that might take like 45 minutes or something you can always do that in your notebook just like we would do in class and then just take a picture of it that way you don't have to type it all out and then you can just add that photo of your work online so not everything necessarily has to be done on a computer we understand everyone sharing devices you might have a couple siblings at home who are also sharing devices and not everyone can get on the computer all day long so we, we understand that so no worries there um, Let's see, what if I have a question and I don't understand something? Well, what do you do in class? You ask me, so I will be available. Um, it's just, you know, you're gonna look at me on a screen and I might be wearing, you know, a t-shirt <laughs> instead of being dressed up a little bit more. And that's cool because you might get to wear your PJs too whenever you're doing your schoolwork from home and you can eat your snack at any time during the day, not just at like 10 o'clock when we get in from recess. So I think there's certain advantages that you guys are really gonna have fun with. Um, if you have a question and you don't understand something, we're going to have built-in office hours and I'll let you know when those are. I'm going to have a very consistent schedule. Um, I'll be available multiple times during the day. Uh, I do have to take Nash and Denver out to go potty. <laughs> so sometimes I might be, you know, walking the dogs because we don't have a fence in our backyard yet. So, but I will be available to answer any questions and I'm going to make sure the lessons are all super easy and, um, easy taught. Like they're going to be, you know, a little bit challenging because we want to activate your brain and make you have lots of fun but I will explain everything just the same as I would in class for the lessons. So I don't want anyone to worry, you know, well, what if what if I, you know, don't get it? Like, don't worry, um, you can just kind of save that question and then keep going with the work that you do know. And then the next day, whenever we chat kind of online, then you can ask me, you can always email me a question just the same as you would before. And your parents are used to that, you're used to that. So the same thing that we've been doing all year. Um, and do you have to do the work? Uh, you already know the answer to that. You want to do it, right? It's gonna be fun, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be amazing. It's not gonna be overwhelming. Um, and I think that you guys are really just gonna be excited about it. Ooh, and super good news. We've got an amazing fun book that we're gonna do coming up. It's a read aloud and your teachers um, are all gonna read it to you. So we're gonna read a certain amount of chapters and you can listen to it um, and I and you can follow along with it. We'll send you the ebook link, but I don't wanna tell you ahead of time because I want it to be a 
surprise, but I think that you're gonna absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. It's for our new unit of study. So you know how we finished um, historical fiction. We're now gonna do social issues. So you are going to love the new book. We put a lot of time and thought into kind of what book we're gonna do to launch this new unit as a read aloud for you guys. And everyone's gonna like it, no matter what your interests, hobbies, or anything are, you're just gonna like love it, love it, love it. So I'm super excited to share that with you. I hope that you're enjoying your spring break. Just know most importantly, relax, have a fantastic weekend. We're gonna kick off Tuesday and have a great time together. Your assignments are gonna be posted um, by this Monday by 4 p.m. I'll make sure I have everything on CranNet, all the links you need, anything. It'll be really easy to follow. Um, so no stress or worries there. I just want everyone to be super excited about it and um, looking forward to it. So I'm really excited to see you guys soon. Enjoy your weekend. And I promise that in some of the videos for the lessons, I will incorporate Denver and Nash a little bit so that you guys get to see them um, because they've been kind of bored <laughs> around the house. So they'll be excited to kind of be in some of the videos and say hi to you guys too. All right. Enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.